Okay, now that we've done a review on the virtual energy blackout, I'm gonna jump on over to the RSTX2. Um, I'm gonna stand in the same spots that I did with the virtual energy blackout so that we can show a true comparison of the two bowling balls. I'm gonna start with all the way to the right and work my way all the way to the left, just like I did with the Vibo. Um, I'm really excited to see this comparison because the RSTX2 has been one of my favorite balls and the Vivo is absolutely becoming one of my favorite balls. So apparently I like ASIMs. I thought I was a symmetrical girl, but ASIM, here we go. All okay, right. So I don't have a lot of bowling balls to compare to the Vivo, but because she is a shiny asymmetrical, um, I brought my beautiful RSTX2 because obviously she is a shiny asymmetrical. My pin placement is almost exact to a T as you can see. So I feel like this would be a really good ball review to show the difference between the Virtual Energy Blackout and the RSTX2. In my opinion, I've thrown the Virtual Energy Blackout a few times. Um, it definitely resembled a little bit more of the Dark Code for me, which is one of my favorite bowling balls in the world. Um, but let's still compare these two and let's really see the difference. So here we go. Okay, so there's quite a bit of oil on the lanes. Normally there is not. So I'm gonna start off standing 16, hitting four at the arrows. As you guys saw, okay, because that last shot came in light, I'm going to stand, move one right to 15 and hit four. I'm going to slow down my pace, really make sure I try to get under it. I kind of hit five. My feet. And I'm looking at four of the arrows. That was better. We're going to go back to 15 with our feet. I'm looking at four of the arrows. That's good. All right, here we go with our take two. So let's start where I started with the Vivo. Stand 15, and I'm gonna look at four. I'm gonna add a piece of tape. Okay, let's try that last shot again because uh, Apparently my hand shrinks. I'm tired, but the bowling center is cold always. So 15, four of the arrows. All right, that was good off my hand. Ooh, she hooked more. So that was super, super interesting. My RSTX2 hooked earlier than my Bebo. So that being said, I'm gonna go a two and one left. I'm gonna hit 17 with my feet. I'm gonna look at five at the arrows. Grab the R62 again. Again, 17 with my feet. Five with my eyes at the arrows. Okay, just to give a check on that, I'm gonna go 17 with my feet with the Vivo, five at the arrows, just to show the difference right now between the RSTX2 and Vivo. Okay, so now that looks good. Now we're gonna try the next step that we did with the Vivo, which is 25 with your feet and 14 with your eyes with my RSTX2 now. Wow. Okay, with the Vivo, she didn't make it in the 10 pin state. With the RSTX2, she bobbered. Okay, so overall, right now, the RSTX2 definitely hooks earlier than the Vivo, that's for sure. All right, let's jump to 30, like we did with the Vivo, and we looked at 18. Yeah, 
I mean, that's what we're seeing still. She's hooking earlier, so what carried with the Vivo and held is not with our CX2. Alrighty, we are done bowling. <laughs> that was a, a long, um, when you're bowling by yourself, you get really, really tired really, really fast. Um, and I had a couple of gentlemen that were waiting on me to bowl, so I did have to wrap it up pretty fast. But that being said, I really am interested in what you guys think. So please comment below what you think on the difference between the Virtual Energy Blackout and the RSTX2. Did I do a good job at showing you the difference? Um, please let me know. And if not, please let me know what I can do better next time because if y'all don't let me know, I'm not gonna learn. Um, but if you feel like I did a good job, I'm gonna continue doing what I do. I'm having fun filming these. Um, I'm not the best, <laughs> but I'm trying my absolute hardest. Um, my personal review, my personal review. I think that neither one replaces the other. The virtual energy blackout definitely go longer, goes longer and snaps harder in the back. Um, and the RSTX2 definitely picks up earlier and hooks earlier. So yes, they are similar, but are they, com I mean, would, would I replace one? No. Now, when I'm going to a tournament and I'm traveling and I can only bring two, three ball totes, um, like we are at the end of this month, we're going to fit and I'm only bringing six balls because Southwest gives free two bags um, and I'm not paying a billion dollars for another bag. Um, I am going to take my virtual energy blackout over my RSTX2. Um, it's not that it's replacing it, it's just I want to have a wide variety in my bag and there's only room for one shiny ASIM in there and so my shiny ASIM is going to be the virtual energy blackout. Um, however, at local tournaments, like the Cheramature tournament that is coming up here very soon in February, um, I am going to bring both the RSTX2 and the Virtual Energy Blackout because they are different as you guys saw. They are very similar, but they are also different. And when I need something that is going to get down lane, but pick up a little bit earlier, um, obviously I'm going to go to the RSTX2. And then if I need something, if the fronts are completely toasty toasty and I need someone to really get through the fronts and get down for their lane, um, and then snap in the back, obviously, if the oil carries down, um, then I'm definitely gonna throw my virtual energy blackout. And you never know with the tap because you're crossing with a bunch of people, um, especially if you're going on double, triple burn, you have no idea what you're going on to. You have an idea of the pattern, but again, Whoever is bold on it changes that consistency of that pattern, so might as well be well prepared. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys haven't checked out Haynes Bowling Spy, make sure you do so. Haynes Bowling Spy. Um, they drill all of my equipment. Yes, I am on I Am Bowling staff. So I'm not wearing an I Am Bowling jersey today. I am wearing my Haynes Bowling Spy jersey because I am also sponsored by Haynes Bowling Spy. Um, and they just recently drilled me up the virtual energy blackout and I want to show much appreciation for that because I am loving this ball. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out Haynes Born Supply, they are on Takeda and Hacienda here in Las Vegas. And David Haynes is one of the best bowlers of all time. He is a goat. He is one of the greatest of all time. And to be able to have him help you in that process and his staff and his team with all of that knowledge, help you pick a bowling ball out that suits you right and drills it specifically to what you're wanting to see on the lane. That experience doesn't just come naturally in a pro shop. I mean, that that's years and years of talent been, that's been built into that pro shop. So highly, highly recommend going to check them out. Um, other than that, again, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and comment below on what you think. Bye guys.